Now, as the question states that there is a cricket academy has 72 players, and a player is either considered to be a batsman, a bowler, or an all-rounder. So, an all-rounder is a player who is a batsman as well as a bowler. Now, further instructions, they have divided these players into category A and category B, and in these, these 13 there are 13 bowlers in category A, which also 13 bowlers, which means there are some all-rounders are also there and 23 players in category B as classified only as a batsman. Now from further, the number of players in this cricket academy, number of players in the cricket academy is 6 times the number of all-rounders in the academy. So from here we can say that the number of all-rounders in the academy turns out to be 1 6 of the number of players. So that turns out to be 12. And the number of all-rounders in category B is twice the number of all-rounders in category A. So the number of all-rounders in A and B is in the ratio 1 is to 2. So I can say that the number of all-rounders in case A is category A is 4 and number of all-rounders in category B is 8. And there is one more instruction that has been given that the number of ratio of number of batsmen in category A to the number of bowlers in category B is between 2 by 3 and 1. So what we need to know that which of the following could be the, cannot be the value of the number of batsmen in category A. So we can understand this by the following diagram. As we can look in the two Venn diagrams, the first circle represents the batsman and the second circle represents the bowler and the com uh, intersection part of both these two Venn diagrams is all-rounders. So we know that there are a total of 12 all-rounders, 4 all-rounders are in category A and 8 all-rounders are in category B. So I have drawn a rectangle in this Venn diagram which represents the people in category A. There are a total of 13 ballers in the category A. So 4 all-rounders including 4 all-rounders there will be 9 ballers that will be there and 23 specialist batsmen are there, 8 all-rounders are there so baller will be Y. So I know I can understand from this that 23 plus 8 plus 4 plus 9 plus x plus y the sum of all the players turns out to be 72 where x plus y from here I can deduce that the value of x plus y turns out to be 28 now we understand that the value of ballers and batsmen now x represents the number of batsmen in category A and Y represents the number of ballers in specialist baller in category B. So the ratio lies between 2 by 3 and if I look at the all-rounders in category A that is batsman in the category A that is 4 plus X and if I look about the ballers in the category B that will be represented by 8 plus Y and that is equals to greater than equals to 1 and now by trying for the values of x and y I can look for the following pairs which are the possible that satisfy the condition that x and 4 plus x should by, uh, by 8 plus y should be greater than 2 by 3 and less than 1 by uh, 1 so the possible options which we can talk about is 12 16 13 15 14, 14, 15, 13, and 16, 12. So the possible number of batsmen in category A can be 16, 17, 18, 19, or 20. As we have discussed, it's 4 plus x. So 17 on 12 plus 4 is 16, and up to 20, their value can go. So the value of a that batsman in category A can never be 15 and that's why it's the answer. So option 1 is the correct answer for this.